Hello everybody and welcome to our class video about special segments and triangles. Our learning goal for this video is that you'll be able to describe, identify, and apply special segments and triangles. There are actually four of them, so let's look at each one in detail. The first special segment in a triangle is the median. So, what exactly is a median? You mean like this? No, not that kind of median, although it is kind of similar because it goes down the middle between the two roads. Okay, try again. So you mean like the median number? Well, no, I don't really mean that either. Although, again, it is the middle number, so it is sort of relevant to what the median in a triangle is. All right, let me just show you. In geometry, a median is a segment in a triangle that extends from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So let me draw you a picture. So let me put the midpoint on BC. Okay, I'm just eyeballing it. That's pretty close. Okay, and I'll connect that midpoint to the vertex of the opposite side. That is A. Okay, so there, I've drawn a median. I can show that it's a median by marking the two pieces of the line segment BC as congruent. Let me also draw in the medians for the other two sides. So I'll add the uh, midpoints. Okay, there's a midpoint for AB, and here's a midpoint for AC. Okay, and let me draw in the median. So starting at, starting at the midpoint over here, so I will connect it to C. Okay, there we go. And starting at the midpoint over here, let me connect it to B. Okay, there we have it. So, I will also show that these are medians by marking the pieces of the segment congruent. Alright, so now, what do you notice about the three medians? you may notice that they all intersect at this one point. Okay? So, we, we say that those lines are concurrent because they all intersect at one point. Now, this specific point where all three medians intersect has the name centroid. Okay? So all the medians intersect at the centroid. That's a weird word. Oh well, let's keep going. The next type of special segment is an angle bisector. So, here, here's the definition. Although it's not like this is an unfamiliar term or anything, we've already discussed that bisect means to cut in half. So, an angle bisector is a segment in a triangle that bisects one angle in the triangle. Alright, so let's draw in those. Okay? So, Let's say I want to bisect angle B. So starting at B, okay, I'll have my line segment here. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but I'll just say that the angles bisected about right there. And I can mark that they're congruent on either side. There, I've drawn the angle bisector. Note that when I draw the angle bisector, that does not necessarily mean that the two pieces on the other side of the triangle are congruent. That doesn't necessarily hit the midpoint. All right, I'm going to draw in the other two. I'm going to pause the video to draw it because it you know, requires a little bit of focus in it to figure out exactly how it's bisected. Okay, there. So... If you draw the angle bisectors approximately close, then they should appear to intersect at a common point, just like the medians. We call this point where the angle bisectors intersect the end center. Okay, don't worry about making your drawings perfect at this point. We will do some drawing that's more exact during class. Okay, so on to the next one. The perpendicular bisector. 
A perpendicular bisector is a segment in a triangle that bisects a side of the triangle and is perpendicular to it. Okay, so let's draw in one of those. If it bisects a side of the triangle, that means it must pass through the midpoint. So let me again put the midpoint on BC. Okay, there we go. Now, being that BC is horizontal, if I draw a line perpendicular to that, that would be vertical. Okay, so I'll draw a vertical line. Okay, there we go. Although it didn't line up exactly, but that's okay. Here, oh, actually, let me fix it. Okay, so I can show that it's perpendicular by drawing a right angle here, and I can also show that it goes through the midpoint by marking the two pieces of the segment congruent. Okay, note that this perpendicular bisector doesn't have to pass through a vertex of the triangle, unlike the other two. Also, this perpendicular bisector can be a line rather than a line segment. In fact, all of them could be because line segments are just pieces of lines. Okay, so that's one perpendicular bisector. I'm going to draw in the, pause the video and draw the other two so that we can see what happens. There. As you draw them on your paper, it might be helpful for you to rotate your paper so that either segment AB or AC appears to be horizontal. That way you can draw the perpendicular bisector as vertical. Okay, so now what do you notice here? Well, they do all converge at one point. They just so happen to converge at one of the midpoints. That's just specific to this triangle and doesn't always happen. But, I will tell you that the point where all of those converge is called the circumcenter. Alright, so we've got three down and one more to go. Alright, here's the altitude. Now, you've probably heard of the word altitude before, like maybe in the context if you've ever gone hiking somewhere, like in Colorado. Altitude is a word that is used to describe the height of a mountain above sea level. Now, obviously here that's not sea level, but you get kind of the point. It's used to describe the height of the mountain. It's related to the special segment in a triangle. Let me show you. An altitude is a segment in a triangle that extends from a vertex to be perpendicular to the opposite side. Drawing the altitude from the vertex A is actually quite easy. Okay? Because BC is horizontal, the altitude must be vertical. So therefore, if I, as I'm drawing the altitude, I just need to make it vertical and intersect BC. There. So that's the altitude. If triangle ABC represents our mountain, then the altitude represents the height of the mountain. Now, Drawing the altitudes from B and C is actually a little bit more difficult. If I want it to be perpendicular to AC, I'll actually have to extend AC a little bit. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so there I've extended the side a little bit. Now I will try attempt to draw a line that is perpendicular from B to that line. I'm going to pause the video to do that so I get it right. Okay. There. So, you'll notice that the altitude does not have to lie inside the triangle. Hmm. Okay. So, now, and keep in mind, as you're drawing this, it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll do more accurate drawings in class. Okay. So, I can also, finally, make a altitude extending from C by extending side AB. Here, let me pause the video and draw that one. There we go. Now, hmm, they don't seem to be meeting at a point. Well, because some of the altitudes are outside, we just actually have to continue them a little bit. Oh man, they didn't intersect. Well, they should intersect. The thing is, 
you have to draw the segments pretty accurately, and it's really hard to make <laughs> segments perpendicular on the on my iPad as I'm making this video. So we'll do this in class, and we'll see that they actually do intersect. When you do get them to intersect, the point where they intersect is called the orthocenter. Okay, so that's our four special segments. Here's a little table just to summarize some of the terms that we used, in case it might be helpful for you. It lists our special segments, the median, the angle bisector, the perpendicular bisector, and the altitude. And if you draw all three, they will meet at, the medians will meet at the centroid. The angle bisectors will meet at the in center. The perpendicular bisectors will meet at the circumcenter. And the altitudes will meet at the orthocenter. Okay, you got all that? Well, we'll be doing some more investigation in class and a few little bit better drawings. Okay, so see you guys in class.